Hey guys, um, welcome back to another video. We're firing them out. But you know what? Over the last two videos, I've experienced too much torture and torment, okay? Jeremy Fragrance had sucked all the energy out of me. I was just sitting there, scrolling through my socials, when I came across these. These are called iceberg charts. Basically, iceberg charts, they take a topic, any random topic. It could be about, ooh, I don't know, uh, Tim's Montgomery. <laughs> Number one, sexy, funny, nice. <laughs> Down below, shits himself a lot. <laughs> Who came up with that? At the top of the iceberg, tier number one, you've got the most well-known, popular, mainstream knowledge about that certain topic. And then as you go deeper and deeper through the tiers, it becomes more obscure and stuff that you probably didn't know. So I found an iceberg on Google Earth and Google Map Discovery. No point spending any more time waffling. We might as well get straight into it and have a look. The very first one on the list is UFOs. So there's been countless reports of UFO sightings across all of Google Earth. Through a bit of research, I found the most popular case. Uh, this one says, is this a UFO sighting? And right in over the Bermuda too. Is this place really a magnet for strange shenanigans? If it was, I would be there. <laughs> Just, well, okay. Yeah, that is, that is a bit strange. Um, we obviously know what UFOs are, if you don't, but... <laughs> two-legged cat. So the two-legged cat refers to this photo, which you've probably seen because it's a meme as well. I think most people have seen, or quite a lot of people have seen. See, this one seems a bit funky. And you wanna know why it seems a bit funky? Cause it's fake. This is the original image of the cat. And through a bit of Photoshop manipulation, it brought about the legend of the two-legged cat. What could have been? Yeah, a two-legged cat and a three-legged bloke. <laughs> This guy. <laughs> Boing! The next just says military bases. I don't know, I, there's nothing really inconspicuous about that. It's just stating that there are military bases and Google does have images of those military bases. But when you try to access them on Google Earth or Google Maps, they're blurred out. You may wonder, oh, well, why is it blurred? Um, mainly because of uh, national security and national security threats. The Rome Cat. The Rome Cat is another kitty catty turned into a meme. Someone was going through Google Earth one day when they swung the camera around, saw some cats, thought, oh, that's pretty cute, I'm gonna go closer. Turned around even more, saw that. It's a bit wacky, you know. It's not, it's not w w mysterious, okay? It's not scary, unless you've got a fear of cats. Or Rome, I know the English do. <laughs> <laughs> Buffaloes. There's not much to it other than the fact that you see a, a nice little herd of buffalo in Tanzania. I mean, who cares about buffaloes? Yeah, what are buffaloes gonna do? They're not gonna do anything. They're, not, they're stupid buffaloes. Black spots. This Okay, this one's getting interesting. I like the sound of it. Black spots not something just on top of a bald man's head. So black spots in the world of Google Earth and Google Maps refer to the many secret blacked out locations on Google Maps. From military bases, mysterious islands, and even a random house in Stockton on Tees, there's no shortage of secret spots Google Maps won't show us. Like some of them in Mororo. I'm sorry, um, that, a lot of that is used for nuclear testing, so that is a black spot on Google Maps. Again, could tie into the Miller at Milner Bridge. Right? Ah! Again, could tie into a military based theory. There's also a house blacked out or blurred out, but we'll get into that later as it appears later in the tier list. And it's, it's, it's pretty dark. Finally, for tier one, we have North Korea. Other than just looking like the landscape of Wally, -E, North Korea is also harboring some other secrets, many of which are concentration camps, military test sites. There's a lot of political prison camps. Google Earth is constantly updating their imagery, even across North Korea. The last time there was big news about North Korea was when Kim Jong-un decided to survive his surgery. Yeah, I guess he had a change of heart. <laughs> no, we've got, we've got to stop making fun of him, okay? It's not easy being the only vegetable in North Korea. But that's the end of tier one. Uh, that basically covers all the most well-known stuff about Google Earth. Tier two starts getting into a bit of the wackier stuff. 
Pigeon people. The pigeon people refers to the incident in Western Tokyo where there was a staged street view prank, very likely by the students of a nearby art school. It actually turned out not being students from the nearby art school. It ended up being a few writers that uh, thought it would be funny, you know, to be noticeable on the on Google Earth with a, with with some bird masks on. But there's also been more bird people spotted across Tokyo, and people don't know if these are the same guys from the first attack. Flying rabbit. Holy shit! That, that, that's been hit. That's, <laughs> that's been, that, that has been hit by the Google car. How do you explain that? Mars and Moon. So Mars and Moon is basically talking about the feature in Google Earth that allows people to explore Mars and the Moon. Which, before filming this, I didn't even know about, so I guess that's why it's in Tier 2. Google basically allows you to pretty much view the surface of Mars and Moon. I mean, you can take measurements, you can do all sorts of stuff. Um, but you're better off just checking it out yourself. There's not much wacky and mysterious about it, but it's it's definitely interesting. Big Rabbit. So the Big Rabbit, or more commonly known as the Giant Pink Bunny, is in Prado Novoso, Italy. So basically it's a giant art sculpture of a pink bunny. There hasn't really been much of an effort to preserve it. It's going to be gone in a couple of years. It, it looks, it, it's, it's, it's quite depressing. Man falling down in the stairs. So basically Google captured a man falling down a staircase in Hoboken, New Jersey after getting somewhat viral on the internet and people laughing and and making fun of this, of this poor man, really. It's been blurred multiple times and ultimately just got completely taken out. I would be laughing, but it turns out he passed away um, not long after from cancer. So all of you that are laughing at this, you are laughing at a man with cancer falling down some stairs. You roof. Located in Mississippi, where else would it be? There, There is a house with you written on top of it in paint. Clearly visible from satellite view. Apparently it is because Google Earth would not blur out their house. Kind of begs the question, what are they trying to hide? Yeah? Whales. So for a while now, uh, Google Earth and with their advanced satellite imagery, have actually been able to find a way to locate, take photos and distribute images of your mum. Just, I'm kidding. That is, that's sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Similar to the buffaloes, Google has uh, taken photos of pods of whales. Is it pods? It's pods. What are whales called? Pod. Uh, genius alert. <laughs> Over here, who's this guy? Albert Einstein? No. <laughs> Albert Einstein learnt about E equals MC squared when he was older. <laughs> yeah, I learnt about it when I was 12. But nonetheless, it's cool. It's cool to look at these animals in their natural habitat. It's nice. Dick Church. This is what you clicked on this video for. A church in the shape of a hawk. Knob shaft bollocks. So apparently there was a problem with the foundation and the soil under the church. So they had to uh, erect the building in sort of like a, in like a schlong, a, a long sort of way uh, so that the members couldn't go, oh, bollocks. Yeah, we're going to be pricks uh, to the owners for getting us sick and they couldn't, so... That's uh, that's what happened. Dick Church completes tier two. We're getting deeper and deeper. <laughs> oh, it's gotten dark, it's getting spooky. <laughs> so at the start of tier three, we have Rainbow Plain. So Rainbow Plain, it's a phenomena on Google Earth where planes are captured and they are, they're rainbow, they're, they're rainbow planes. So the plane is flying that quick that when it is captured, the camera only captures it in RGB, red, green, and blue, and it captures the colors separately at different times. Um, not too much spooky to do with that. It's a lot of science mumbo jumbo. But no, it isn't a ghost plane. Uh, it's just a fault of the camera. Google car being pulled over. So it was in Toronto, Ontario, Canada where the Google car has been pulled over. I'd like to see what they were pulled over for. Do you reckon it was loitering? 
out the front of people's stalking, taking photos. Mm. Lady of the North. If it was Lady of the South, it would be on a different website. <laughs> Ooh, and yeah, you know. The official Google Earth website, it is uh, almost like a gallery of art from above. North, Northumberland, 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 Northumberlandia, Nor, Northumberlandia, Northumberlandina. Uh, Fuck. Northumberlandia, also known as the Lady of the North, is a huge land sculpture in the shape of a reclining female figure near Northumberland, England. And it's the largest land art in female form in the world. The sculpture cost three million dollars to make. Three million dollars uh, for a reclining woman. Okay, uh, sorry, but there's a joint down the road that has them for 150. I've got to tread lightly on this next one. There are multiple buildings shaped in the form of the symbol for the bad guys in 19... 45, if you know what I mean. Most famously is the naval base in Coronado, California. It was built in the 60s and obviously they had no idea of what it would look like from a bird's eye view. I don't know if they were in contact with Dick Church, you know, they were like, you guys have a pretty offensive structural shape. What's more offensive than that? Oh, I've got an idea. Look, I'm not even gonna make a joke about it. Um, it's really risky territory and I cannot see that going well for me. Masked people, masked people? Uh, it's detailed as the masked strangers. Basically, this is what it is. I know a lot of people will chalk it up to, you know, street view pranks like, like the pigeon people, but this one just feels a bit more criminal, no? It's not because of it being Mexico and cartels and stuff. It's a mystery. No one knows who the people are, no one knows why. See, at least with the pigeon people, we got an explanation. Look, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, they're not doing anything criminal yet, but there's no real explanation for that one. Weird. Creature on the balcony. So creature on the balcony refers to the spotting of an unusual uh, creature on the balcony in Nancy, France. From the street view, uh, you can look up and see a balcony with a bike on top of it, and next to it is a weird alien creature looking thing. It can be chalked up to just being a sculpture, but the weird thing about it is it has actually been blurred. So if you are to go onto Google Earth and look towards the balcony, it's completely blurred. Um, why they would blur a sculpture? It has been proven online that it is a sculpture on the balcony, but it doesn't make sense as to why they would blur it. Big Crab. So Big Crab is exactly what it sounds like. On the shore of Whistable, Kent, England, there is a crab thought to be 50 feet wide that people have named Crabzilla. There's even a website set up just to prove the legitimacy of this big crab. Although someone had found the original image, it's a Photoshop. Angel. It's hard to find a definitive source for what they're talking about. Angel is a very broad term, but I've found the two most popular cases of times angels have been found on Google Maps. The first can be seen here. I don't know the exact details of where this is or when this is taken. Basically, it is a blurred figure ascending to heaven. If it was me, it's a f***ing bird. There is another instance. On a building in Brazil, doesn't say where, there is this. Quickly, debunked as an angel decoration. And I thought I'd add that in because who would have that on their building? <laughs> the murder doc. Now I think this should be in tier one because there's a very good chance you've seen these photos. There were rumors surrounding some images taken saying that Google had spotted a murder slash disposing of a body in broad daylight. So this was discovered by a Reddit user from the Netherlands who stumbled across it as it was near their house. What he thought was a murder scene and what it very much looks like it is has actually been debunked and is said to be a dog and their owner. There's a few images detailing the scenario, but then there's also some detailing the murder scene and you know what, piss off that dog theory. Oh, dog jumped in the water. Oh, the murder scene's way cooler. And the mafia, the, the Dutch mafia. What do you reckon they do with the bodies? Yeah, do you reckon they put them in a 
Dutch oven. <laughs> Underwater ship. In Yokosuka, Japan, there is an image of a huge sunken ship just off the pier in Kanagawa. A lot like the other discoveries, this one is being chalked up to be a visual error. There was a ship previously in that pier and the current imagery, it is no longer there. So those two images have been blended and it appears to have been sunk and at the bottom of that pier. Prior to debunking, many people thought it was a ghost ship, possibly remnants from World War II, all that sort of stuff. So much cooler. It's like it's kidnapper house. This one is pretty dark. The Ariel Castro kidnappings took place between 2002 and 2004 when Ariel Castro kidnapped Michelle Knight, Amanda Berry and Georgina Gina de Jesus and held them captive in his home in the Tremont neighborhood of Cleveland, Ohio. The three girls were imprisoned until May 16, 2013, over 10 years later, when Barry escaped with her six-year-old daughter to whom she had given birth while imprisoned. She contacted the police and they rescued Knight and de Jesus and arrested Castro within hours. The house in which he lived and the kidnappings occurred was 2208 Seymour Avenue. On Google Earth, it has been blurred entirely. It actually doesn't matter anymore that that house is blurred because it's no longer there. That house has been torn down and also the one next to it. What's so creepy is that some of the residents had accounts of seeing naked women crawling in the backyard and seeing a little girl in the attic window that they'd never seen enter or exit. Which I'm sorry, but like, we'll rewind. Uh, seeing a naked woman crawl around in the backyard. I mean, it would sort of ring some alarm bells. On a lighter note, the Red Sea. So this one was very vague and it wasn't explained very well because there is a Red Sea, if you've never, very famous, by the way, very famous Red Sea. So it's kind of hard to find anything else about it. But I managed to find what they are talking about and it is actually the Lago Vermelo Lake. In 2007, when Google Maps originally took imagery of the lake, it appeared to be blood red. Although now it just looks like a normal lake, there still has been no reason as to why the lake was blood red. The leading theory believes it to be caused by the slaughterhouses disposing of runoff blood into the lake, which is kind of disgusting. I could make a menstrual joke, but you know, that's just, that's too far. It's not funny, period. Now we are on to tier four, Ghost Girl. Ghost Girl refers to the image taken at Martha Chapel Cemetery in Texas. In the panoramic shot, what can be seen is a little girl behind a tree. Some people first originally thought that it was just a knot in the tree, but if you zoom in closer, you can clearly see the distinctual facial features of a little girl. Looks pretty, oh, that looks horrific. I'm sick of these, cause you know, I saw that image and I was like shit that's creepy that is either a knot in a tree a ghost or a really unfortunate photo of a little girl turns out it's the third one on a YouTube video the dad of the little girl says it was me I took the panoramic shot uh, if you actually turn around you can see me and my wife sitting down and you can object man pointing gun to the camera this one's a good one as the Google car was passing through Detroit Michigan in one of the neighborhoods on the front porch you can see a man pointing a gun at the Google car as it drives by. Now, who knows? You know, we might he might have just not wanted his photo taken. Since people have noticed that it has been blurred out like a lot of the other discoveries. Dog chasing a Google car. It's a dog chasing a car. Next, donkey killed by Google car. So someone had stumbled across a apparent dead donkey in a dusty track in Botswana, Africa. Google, although has come forward and says, no, it didn't get hit by the Google car. We didn't keep going because we only do that to bunnies. Basically, all it was is poor timing. They said that the donkey was enjoying a nice sunbake and a roll around in the dust. I mean, if he got hit, that would have been a pain in the ass. Kazakhstan pentagram. Kazakhstan is most popular for such things as Borat and apparently the occult. People believed the Lysakovsk pentagram to be a site of devil worshiping. I think they're just covering it up at this point, but they say it's a park. I mean, a park, really? They've said it's in the shape of a star because when it was originally landscaped, it was in the Soviet era and stars were a prominent symbol used across the USSR. Turns out they're just a bunch of commies. 
Yeah, I don't know what's worse. <laughs> Sudan lips. Basically, Sudan lips are lip-shaped hills in Sudan. There's not much more to it than that. The locals believe that the lips spoke to the sky asking for rain. I can't help but think the locals got it a bit mixed up because there is also a pair of legs coming from either side. But yeah, that's all it is. Just a just a pair of smacking lips. Face in the clay, or more commonly known as the Badlands Guardian, a rock formation in Alberta, Canada. It's a natural formation created through erosion of soft, clay-rich soil. There's not much conspiracy behind it. It's just a great formation made by nature over time that takes the appearance of a human head. And finally, for tier four, we have Lost Baby. When I was originally looking up Lost Babies on the internet, I mean, not a great look for me. Yeah, currently on the watch list now. So I found this image of the Lost Baby. Uh, basically, it is a Lost Baby out the front of a Gucci store. Looks to me that someone got their priorities straight. Or the baby is just going to get dumb litty at the Gucci store, spend some racket rackaroonies. Broski. But with Lost Babies, we end tier four. Blonde tourist legs. What the f is that? Blonde tourist legs refer to a photo taken by Google uh, in which they took an image of a blonde tourist woman in front of the Chichen Itza ancient Mayan ruins in Mexico. Could this be related to the France statue? Are they taking over? We'll never know. Well, we will know because... It's fate. It's it's Oak Bay Snake. The image was first found by engineer Peter Widahira spotting a large unexplained wake. He was looking at Oak Bay, which is on the east coast of New Zealand's North Island, when he noticed a strange figure in the water. It can't be explained by boats because there aren't any around. The native Maori people around the area would call it the Tanawa troll, as it appears not to be a whale and is far too big to be a shark. I've got to admit, out of all of them, this is the strangest. You can't see any boats, it's a dark figure, it looks like a big snake. And I would know what big snakes look like. <laughs> a van on fire. It's just a van on fire. It was in Toronto, where Google Earth had stumbled across a van apparently on fire and no one around. The fire was put out relatively quickly when emergency services got on scene, but that's basically it. Ice ship. A 400 foot ice ship was located on Google Maps. On August 7th, 2020, YouTube user Mr. MBB33 published a video showing an ice ship that measured over 400 feet in length. It was seen just off the coast of Antarctica. Many people claim that this ice ship is linked to the the not so nice. It is linked uh, to the bad guys from World War II. It's too big of a conspiracy theory to explain now. I might do it in another iceberg video. Ice it's all coming around. Broken face. So the broken face is a bit of a strange one. So it was found in the middle of a field in the Netherlands. There has still not been any confirmation of why it is there and what it is. Many people believe that it could have been a piece of former artwork or a piece of art itself, but there really is no way of knowing as no one has come forth to claim the piece of art as their own. Plane in the forest. Originally believed to be a discovery of an abandoned crash plane turned out to be the home of Bruce Campbell. For six months of the year he lives in this renovated plane turned into a house. For the other six months he lives in Japan. He bought the 727 to turn into a home which he believes is the best way to make use of discarded planes. Axe murder. Now when you hear the title and you see the images it's 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 shocking. Google took an image of an axe wielding madman as he looms over a figure lying spread eagled on the cobbled road. He can be seen turning his face towards the camera with a smile before leaving. All faces have been blurred, but the man lying seemingly lifeless on the ground is Dan Thompson. This one has quickly been debunked as it turns out both men were in on it and it was just a hoax to play on the Google car as it passed. Their prank attracted some attention from the police who went over to question them about the incident where they started laughing. It was just a big prank that they played. Um, and there's not much more to it than that. Ghost Man. Ghost Man, again, is quite vague. There's quite a few paranormal sightings of ghosts or apparitions across all of Google Earth. But the most popular one is actually an art piece on Google Earth called The Ghost Men. TikTok user Jason Klein posted a video showing how he had scrolled over to Nevada 
on the digital map only to find some sinister looking figures cloaked in white. When you're going through America and you see some hooded figures in white. It's easily explained though as a group of life-size sculptures dressed in white were installed in the town in 1984 as a modern day representation of Christ's Last Supper. But yeah, not the only white hooded men you should be worried about. Prisoner escaping. That looks quite dodgy at first thought, doesn't it? Which it begs a question. If anyone had the sort of intellect to manage to escape a prison, why they would be on the side of a road? I've got just the answer for that. Turns out it wasn't a prisoner at all. Through a little bit of Reddit research, some users managed to identify that there is lettering on the back of his shirt. That lettering corresponds with one of the facilities nearby where he worked. The CWF on the back of his jumpsuit refers to the Carltonville Working Force, which Turns out that's actually where he was from. I mean, a prisoner, yeah, working under the capitalist regime, he pretty much is one anyway. Gas mask guy. This one is one of the hardest to find information about. Google Maps Street View spotted a man in the woods wearing a gas mask crouched down like an animal. No one has any sort of explanation as to what he was doing there. The lack of information makes me very, uh, what's the word? Uh, uh, unnerved, maybe? Um, what is going on there? But, I mean, with that mystery, that brings us to the end of Tier 5. Azura BB1. Basically, what can be seen is a young girl face down in the concrete on the side of the road in Middle Row, Worcester. The authorities were noted after the neighbourhood realised the images of the girl on the floor. An image that is quite shocking turns out to not be so. She fell over when she was playing with her friends and thought it would be funny to play dead on the floor. She didn't know the Google car was recording her, but I would say she's putting in a pretty good effort. A face full of concrete. I'll give her props for that. Body found 22 years later. For over two decades, William Malt's family was left unanswered about his disappearance. Malt, who was 40 at the time, disappeared on the night of November 7th, 1997 in Palm Beach County, Florida. He had called his girlfriend from a bar telling her he would be home soon, but he never came home. And only just recently, a resident of the area was looking on Google Earth when they saw a car at the bottom of a pond. They contacted the police and the authorities. They eventually came around pulled up the car and through examination determined it to be malt. New Baltimore ghost town. In 84 Main Street in New Baltimore, New York, there appears to be something a bit funky with the area. When viewing the region on Street View of Google Earth, it turned into a glitchy nightmare. At one point entering the region, it turned into this nightmare and for a while it continued until you got to the other end where it eventually turned back to normal. And people chalk this up to be a glitch on Google's behalf of their imagery. Some people still believe that there's something much more sinister going on in that town. Old ancient curses, all that sort of jazz. And I honestly don't know which one's right. So this next one refers to a woman doing permanent sleep on herself. If you catch my drift. 41 Marmol. Google Maps unfortunately captured the result of a permanent sleep in a neighborhood in that a city in Mexico. Google originally had it unblurred for some sick reason for a while, but after people obviously noticed, they blurred it and that's pretty much it. Injury cow, which begs the question. I think they mean injured cow. It's an image of a cow who looks like they're having a terrible, really bad day. They're moving very slow. <laughs> looks like they've got beef with with the Google, with the Google car. Teen murdered. A 14 year old Kevin Barrera was shot dead four years ago. If it isn't bad enough, Kevin Barrera's family have to relive that now because Google Maps managed to take a satellite image 
of the time the police came across his body. The Google map satellite shows Kevin's body and a police patrol car and what appears to be the police officers examining the scene. Google eventually got around to blurring the image but it still obviously was far too late for the loved ones who had to witness that unfortunately. Children with guns. There's a couple of occasions on Google Earth where you can see kids with guns. The first being in Belgium actually would you believe oh I would have thought it was America <laughs> yeah the image appears to be four young teenage boys two of them with rifles in their hands there's no real explanation as to what they are doing with the guns um, it's a bit strange I don't know what Belgium's gun laws are like the image has now been blurred out of the four boys the second instance is these two very young boys with toy guns thankfully but not so thankfully they're pointing it at some old fella's head this image doesn't have much context or information about it by the fact that there's just two kids pointing some guns at people's heads. Isn't that lovely? The children with guns concludes us for tier six. Malaysian plane. As you guys have definitely already heard of, the Malaysian airline MH370 plane vanished on March 8, 2014, en route to Beijing from Kuala Lumpur. It's been the biggest mystery in aviation history as no one knows any details about its disappearance. Possibly until now. A wreckage found in the jungle on Google Earth coincides with the last satellite pings for Malaysian Airlines MH370. One of the areas known as the Northern Corridor is where the satellite exchanged its last handshake with the troubled plane. The last radius zone runs through Cambodia along with several other countries. British sleuth Ian Wilson believes he found the wreckage using Google Maps. The image shows the outline of a large plane in the jungle of southern Cambodia. Following the discovery, a group of expert helicopters were hired to scout the area. However, on September 13th, the group failed to find anything in the region where Wilson said the plane had crashed. Could this be a case of cover-up? A lake in an island in a lake in an island in a lake in an island. There is only two lakes in the world as of now to have a third order island within it. One is in the Philippines and one is in Canada. Basically all it is is it's an island in a lake on an island in a lake on an island in a lake. There's not much to it other than it being a geographical phenomenon but it, it, that's basically it. That's basically it. Ah, uh, pref Oscar Kuna. This is one of those ones that caught my attention when I first saw the tier list. What seems to be an ordinary street turns far, far sinister. There's a shop front on that street that is half blurred. If you click on this shop front, you enter what seems to be an alternate universe. Once inside, everything turns dark. And as you move, a dark green menacing figure can be seen following behind. It's more than likely a glitch on Google's behalf, but it doesn't explain why it's in the shop where you enter that it doesn't go in there and nonetheless it's really creepy I mean you're walking around with a green figure standing behind you the end of the world sign people have always theorized how the world will end you know and why it will end and when it will end and everything in between but we've got that answered now because on Google Earth we have found where it ends and that gateway to hell is in California. Spotted in Altus Avenue in Mojave, California, I've butchered that, I just know I have, is a sign reading end where the road stops. But it doesn't just end there. Well, is it? End there, is it? Is, um, on the road it says hell, right next to it, which I don't know why. Rather than it being a portal to the end and hell and everything in between, it's actually the end of the road before you get to the Mojave Desert. I mean, it warns drivers to turn back because otherwise, if you drive out there, you're gonna just die. Dog man. <laughs> This refers to a humanoid figure that has been spotted on Google Maps. This went viral across Reddit as it shows a humanoid beast lurking in the forest just off the road. Apparently the road is very isolated from any sort of contact or town or city so the odds of someone walking through these woods are very, very slim. The Dog Man is a creature described as a seven foot tall, blue eyed or amber eyed canine like animal with the torso of a man. See, I don't know how they've gotten that 
out of that. But anyway, I mean, it could be, it could be Bigfoot for all we know. We just don't know. Man jumps into Google car. This is a weird one because there isn't a single case that strikes me as being it. There's a few instances of people getting in cars, falling in cars across Google Earth. There is one instance of this in Rio de Janeiro where there's a guy sort of climbing over into the well, he's jumping into the car, so that's it. Well, that's it. A bit of a lackluster finish to the video, um, if you don't mind me saying. So that's it for the Google Earth iceberg. Um, arguably the best iceberg in cinematic history right here. Yeah, forget Titanic. <laughs> if you like these longer sort of mysterious style videos. I'm just spicing that up a bit. I like the mix of the reaction and then this stuff where we explore the weird and wacky. But let me know if you guys like this. If you don't, say, tell me, say Tim, that's, that's shit. But don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you later. <laughs>